Hello. Hello, hello, my IG fam. It has been a long time since I've been live on here. Um, and I thought today would be the perfect day to go live because I am going through a lot of transitions in my life. Um, I have so much I want to say. I have so much that I want to share. And I have been very conflicted whether I should share those things on YouTube, like um, whether I should share them here, whether conflicted about what I should share. But I, I've been going through so, so, so many things that I know could be very helpful, helpful for a lot of people. Hi guys, thanks for joining. And um, it's a little cold today, by the way, in LA. But wait, can we appreciate the beautiful day that we have in LA right now? It's so, 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 so pretty, you guys. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm definitely enjoying my day for sure. I had a meeting earlier. Um, and yeah, so I, I have been trying to figure out the th things that I want to share with people and the way I want to share them and you know I think uh, a couple of things that I have learned the most this this last this year number one is when you are doing the things you love when you're doing the things that you're meant to be doing you will be tested and when you think you're finally at a good place in your life you will be tested when you think that, um, not that nothing could go wrong, because I don't, I don't think that anymore. I never say, oh, this, no, like everything's no, like life is made of ups and downs for sure. But one thing that I've learned is that when you think that everything's smooth sailing and you're finally like, oh my gosh, I am focused. I'm doing all these things that I love doing. You will be tested, and. I am guilty of a lot of times when I am tested failing in the sense that you know I let my emotions take take a hold on me hi Mariah <laughs> I am guilty of like letting my my mind take a hold on me and realizing that everything in this life is changing nothing is linear that has been my biggest lesson this last year everything changes everything evolves um everything moves um because if we're not changing and evolving we're simply like staying stagnant and you also don't want to stay stagnant in your life so for me it's been really difficult one of the things that have been has been really difficult throughout my entire life sorry there's like this guy in a jet ski he's like living his life baby yes <laughs> Um, one of the things that have been really difficult in my life always since I was a little girl is being overly emotional about things, about people. Um, taking what people think about me very deeply to heart. Taking what others do to me very deeply to heart. Um, victimizing myself in situations when things don't go my not that they don't go my way but when things just don't work out in an area of my life it's you know i've struggled deeply emotionally with that and um that has that is my shadow like one of my shadow shadow works that i need to do is keep and continue working on not taking things so personal understanding that what when people do certain things um and when we do certain things to people it's because simply we are going through things and we're projecting and when they're going through stuff and they do stuff they're going through things and they're projecting on us and we're all going through stuff right but the one thing that we can actually control is how we react to things and you know you cannot control how other people react but you can definitely control how you react to them how you react to the situation how you internalize the situations whether they're you know it's because of a friend because of a, a relationship or whatever it is you're going through but we have control over that and it's been it's always <clears throat> excuse me been extremely difficult for me to control that because i tend to 
to to emotionally react to things very quickly and I'm learning not to do that anymore. And the other thing I'm learning to really do is, you know, when when something is negative or toxic in in my life, have boundaries with it and be okay saying no because the other thing is when we don't say no to those things and those situations and those people, we are allowing that toxicity into our lives. We're allowing that. And like there's a difference between people going through situations and them feeling sorry about them and apologizing and there's the situations where you know we're human we all make mistakes and if somebody makes a mistake and then they take their time and they come back and they talk to you that's one thing right you that person was toxic at one point but everybody can change and evolve like i said before and that's fine i have no problem with forgiveness but when it's certain situations that are just not sitting right in your soul then you need to let go of those situations and those people and i'm learning to be okay with cutting and letting go and cutting cutting the cord with those things because if you don't do that then those things are gonna take a hold on you and i'm mentioning this because the last two days I've had amazing days. Like, I know I haven't really been on here posting a lot or whatever, but I've really had amazing, 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 amazing days where, like, I was in a total, like, high vibrational state and, like, I woke up and I was listening to my music and dancing and which is something that I'm doing more of, you know, kind of, like, moving my body in the morning and dancing and just getting in that vibe. And then something happened that completely, like, shook me emotionally and my whole freaking day my whole vibe just came down crashing and it's it's something where like it kind of made me look back at myself and think to myself okay what is the shadow self what is the shadow aspect of this that i need to work on myself in order for me not to let this thing affect these things affect me so much because it's not um <clears throat> imagine if you imagine if JLo, right, had a shitty day and then she had to like shoot a movie, which I'm sure it's happened to her before. Like like these people that are successful, they're successful for a reason. They're successful because they're able to at some point in their lives control their emotions to a certain extent where they're able to still function. Because the problem is if you're not able to function after something happens to you, then that's an issue. Um, we have to be able to function. We have to be able to go on with our lives, whether our the boyfriend breaks up, whether there's a death in the family, God forbid, a, a friend betrays you, whatever it is, like you need to be able to still function and go on with your life. And the older I get, the more I realize these things. And, you know, it's something where I have felt lately that I have I don't know if my throat chakra has been closed it probably has been because I'm the type of person that I love to talk I love socializing I love you know just um just being online and connecting and the last few weeks I've just felt like I really haven't wanted to speak or do this or do that which is probably why I haven't really like you know connected on my YouTube channel as much as I would like to but that's all about to change because even right now me doing this live video was me forcing myself to like talk and and connect and come in here and share because i know i have a lot to share with people i know that you know um people may have opinions about you but if we all have things to share and not because you have done negative things not because you have gone through really bad situations that doesn't mean that you don't have a right to share your story to share things with people and that's one thing I'm learning because a lot of times I feel a little bit like an imposter like I'm not gonna lie like a lot of times I think about coming on here and talking about my experiences and my situations and then there's a little voice in my head that goes but who are you who do you think you are you've done this you've done that you have gone through this you don't deserve to to talk about people who are you to 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 teach people to help who are you to to sit here and tell other people like oh um you should have better habits if sometimes you even you you wake up at 11 in the morning sometimes 
and there's that little voice in our heads that tricks us and i feel like it tricks us i have noticed i don't feel i have noticed that it tricks us when we're actually on the right path when you feel like you're finally breaking through like you're finally right there like you're finally figuring out what it is you want to do with your life your purpose your what makes you happy then there's that little thing that happens in your life to test you to bring you down to make you doubt and we all have greatness we all have greatness we all have um something to share we all have something to talk about we all have a story that other people could learn from and it doesn't mean that because you've gone through certain situations and you've gone through certain um like we we all have traumas where every single human being has trauma we all have things that we go through and even the most spiritual people that teach spirituality the coaches everybody has gone through stuff but that is what makes them who they are um i i heard somebody say or talk about some time ago like what makes you a professional in your field um is it is it a certificate is it a diploma is it a four years in the university and don't get me wrong like i of course i believe education is extremely important but i also believe that the one thing that makes us an ex an expert at something is our experience um there are very famous actors who have never gotten a, a college degree in acting but they're famous and they're respected because they have 20 films under their belt so really your experience as a human being gives you the authority to be an expert at whatever it is you feel like you're an expert at um i believe that i'm an expert at modeling for example i may never have been on sports illustrated yet but i've been in the industry for over 10 years i can tell you how to get in the industry what to do what are the first steps that makes me an expert so with that said i hope that um today if you've been doubting yourself if you've been doubting your greatness if you have people who have made you feel doubt about yourself or put you down or made you feel emotional or made you feel like you're worthless i want you to know that you are worthy that there is greatness in you and that nobody should dictate whether you're a good person or not only you know if you're a good person or not and this is me pushing myself opening my throat chakra speaking my truth putting myself out there doing what i'm meant to be doing in my life which is helping people and i believe that 100 percent. and i am going to try my hardest to do more of that so i love you guys thank you for being here today and yeah i will see you soon